Hey, it's Drew Neiser, and I'm here with another Tuesday tip. I wanted to focus on sort of pipeline challenges and one way that you can either measure or enhance your pipeline. I'm going to start with Kathy Johnson from TalkDesk. Kathy, one tip for enhancing your pipeline right now. Sure, Drew. Um, I definitely know what you're going after and make sure you have an SLA with the sales organization. You're completely aligned with the same targets. And I, and I love that point because what we're trying to do here is not let marketers off the hook or sales off the hook. We are joined together as sales and marketing too. Okay, great. Next up, Dan Loudon from uh, White Ops. Dan, what's your tip? Uh, I would, we've had success creating very small, unique virtual events. Uh, with a very targeted set of uh, prospects and customers and brought on somebody fun like John Cleese. And uh, everybody had a great time with it and uh, it really worked. And I, I, so I love that example. One, um, the small group setting we know works. Um, obviously, right now it's easier to get some top talent. And anytime you mention John Cleese, you have a thumbs up from me because we can sort of deploy the Ministry of Silly Walks. Okay, um, next up, uh, Lynn Ledwith from ANSYS. Lynn, what's your tip? Hey, to follow on what Dan was saying around virtual events, one of the things that we've been doing very successfully is having virtual viewing parties especially around account-based marketing, where we invite uh, members of our customers, we create a personalized agenda, then we have one of our uh, team members sit with them, answer questions, very personal approach and increases engagement in the virtual event. Oh, I love it. Virtual viewing parties. That's a, that's really, um, it's a very cool notion. And again, it feels a little special and it doesn't feel like a Zoom meeting, which, mm -hmm. is, which is great. Okay, Carlos Carvajal from Q2, right? Carlos, what's your tip? My tip would be it's around low hanging fruit and targeting install base. Working with sales to identify low hanging fruit within the install base, especially for cross sell plays. You know, and and that really came to play in 2020 because it was so difficult to get new customers. So being able to go to your current customers and put your arms around and say, "We love you. We want to help you. How can we help you?" And oh, by the way, maybe you want to. Um, up, upgrade your product. So that's very cool. Thank you for that. Okay, let's see who's next. Um, Chi Chi Lang from Alloy, what's your tip? Yeah, my tip is um, make sure you're measuring everything, right? Make sure that you're measuring all the programs that you have so that you and you're regularly reviewing those those metrics and reports so that you know what's working, what's not working and can figure out what you want to do more testing on. So is there anything that we can't measure? Um, brand. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think actually we can measure that one. So if yeah. that's the answer, I think we can. There are some things. All right. Uh, next up, Jamie, Jamie here from uh, Dreambox. Ja Jamie, tell us uh, what's your tip. Uh, I would say reference marketing for a low funnel. And that requires having very strong stories from your customers, those that are willing to go on record to share their stories. Uh, and we do that in a really targeted way uh, within communities um, based on our, our market and how we sell and the product that we sell. So the community-based reference marketing. Now, and there's nothing like hearing it from a customer who is happy uh, with you. All right, uh, Michael Welch from Wasabi, what's your tip? Uh, we talked about right out of the gate. It's work closely with those industry analysts because they're already working closely behind the scenes with prospects that are very close to the decision and they're they're asking for their reference. And if they, they're not aware of you, they're not gonna sell you. I, I love it, okay. And we know how important analysts are because a lot of customers are just afraid of making a big purchase decision. So they lean in on the analyst pretty heavily and they're subscribing. Okay, Melissa Sargent from Litmus, take us home. You know, I really think this is the year of personalization and where relevancy um, is, is more important than it's ever been before. And places that you can do that right off the bat are in your email programs, you know, beyond the first and last name. It's really looking at the relevant content to micro segments and moving from sort of a one to many to one to some and then eventually one to one with your marketing programs. I, I love it. it because we are in this world where relevance matters and we're we're sort of we're we're trained by Amazon now to expect that everything that arrives is going to be relevant because they know so much about you. And so the bar is very high, uh, I believe, for marketers to get to this level of personalization. All right, we had some fantastic Tuesday tips. I mean, this is the playbook, folks. Best Tuesday tip ever. Thank you all. Um, that's your Tuesday tip.